In my previous video, I demonstrated one application in using timer of the AT89S52 microcontroller, namely generating square waves. In this video, timer 0 and timer 1 are used to implement a frequency counter where the frequency of a square wave is displayed on LCD. Frequency counting using the AT89S52 microcontroller can be realized by using timer 1 and timer 0. Where timer 1 is programmed to detect and count falling edge pulses available at pin T1 of the controller. And timer 0 is programmed to provide a time period within which the counting is done. As an example, if we apply a square wave at pin T1 with a frequency of 1 kHz and we program timer 0 to give us a counting period of 1000 millisecond or 1 second and we program timer 1 to count the number of pulses within this period we would have 1000 pulses which is the frequency of the input signal. The timer mode SFR which was explained in more detail in my previous video is programmed in such a way so that timer 1 becomes a 16-bit counter that will detect and count the pulses available at pin T1. And timer 0 becomes a 16-bit timer which will provide us the 1000 millisecond counting period. A block diagram of the frequency counter is shown here. We have a triple five timer circuit which generates square waves which are input into pin T1 of the controller which is the timer 1 external input and we have an LCD display where the data lines are connected to port 2 of the controller and the three control lines register select read write and enabled are connected to three pins of port 3 and this is a circuit diagram of the implemented frequency counter And now a quick demonstration. Before we look at the C program used to implement the frequency counter, this is a flowchart of the algorithm used. So the first thing we do is to store a zero in the timer one high and low registers. This is the initial count value. Then we start timer one to begin counting the pulses available at pin T1 of the controller. Then we start timer zero to give us overflow every one millisecond. And then we check, do we have 1000 overflows? If yes, it means that one second has passed and we stop timer one and we display the frequency or the count value on the LCD display and we continue the process. In order to calculate the base number needed to give us uh, timer zero overflow every one millisecond, we start by indicating that the delay time required is one millisecond and the timer clock is 921.6 kilohertz and its reciprocal is 1.085 microsecond. So the delay count would be the delay time divided by the timer cycle time. And we get this uh, integer value 921 which is the nearest whole number. So the base number required is the maximum which is 65,535 minus 921 which gives us this value and its hexadecimal is this value. So when we store this 16-bit hexi value inside the timer 0 16-bit register we will get overflow every one millisecond. And now a quick look at the frequency counter C program. Here we set ports uh, 3.2, 3.3 .3, and 3.4 as input ports for control lines, register select, read write, and enable. And here we have three function prototypes for the functions used in the program. Inside the main function, 
we declare three uh, strings message one message two and message three which will have uh, text that will be displayed on the LCD and here we initialize the LCD with uh, some commands within an indefinite while loop we program the timer mode register so that timer 0 is a 16-bit timer and timer 1 is a 16-bit counter then we store within the 16-bit timer 1 register the initial count value of 0 and then we start timer 1 and then we wait for one second while timer 1 counts and then we stop timer 1 next we store the total number of counts which is available within the timer 1 16-bit register and variable pulses so now pulses should have the frequency of the input square wave next we display the first message on the LCD screen and then we move to the next line and display the second message next we split the total number of counts or the frequency into separate digits starting with the least significant digit all the way to the most significant digit and then we display these digits starting from the most significant digit up to the least significant digit we display it on the LCD screen and then we display the third message on the screen this function is used to receive the LCD command while this function is used to receive the data these two functions were explained in more detail in my previous video function delay is used to give us the required delay in the program so here we have a for loop and within the for loop we are repeatedly executing the timer zero overflow interrupt so here we are storing the base number which is FC 66 which we calculated uh, in a previous slide and then we start the timer zero and then here we wait until overflow occurs when overflow occurs we reset the flag register of timer zero and then we stop timer zero now if we repeat this 1000 times we will get the required one second the final step is to generate the hexacode from the C program and this is done by using the KL IDE and then we upload the hexacode onto the microcontroller using a CMD program Please watch my previous video for detailed explanation. More timer-based projects will be presented in future videos. Thank you for watching.